Hey guys, my name is Aman, aka DJ Reminisce. Just wanted to go through kind of how I make my podcast, what it looks like before you guys actually hear it. And as promised, I do have another video. So as you're looking at the screen here, this is my Ableton session from the last podcast show, uh, 17. Um, this is kind of like how I set things up in Ableton. Now, those of you that don't understand Ableton or don't use Ableton, again, I highly recommend it. I do have another video and I'll put in the links of um, kind of like my go-to software for if you're starting out for podcasts or for radio shows, what mic I use, etc. So, but uh, I'll, uh, you know, I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave the links below and you can, you know, make sure you click on the video to watch it. But this is kind of how I set things up. So here on the right, you can see here, I basically have two decks. So kind of set up like a, like a DJ thing, whatever you want to call it. So deck one and deck two. And that's kind of how and where I place all my songs. Now, you know, for the video's sake, I can't play, you know, some of this stuff, but I will play, you know, like, for example, um, do I have an Islam track in here? One of my tracks? Yeah, right here. So this is um, kind of like a, a song I'm playing before transition. So what I do when I record um, my mic, so this channel right here, see where it says mic, that's my mic input. So that's when I do my talk over. So if I play it here, you'll hear it. Um, but that is a bookwash moment of the week. I wasn't, you know, so again, that's my mic input and I'll just actually click on here. So I've actually got uh, two mic channels. Usually um, I'll have, um, you know, when I do um, an interview or, when I'm, or whatever I have, they'll, you know, I'll have that in there. So I leave this as my template and then I group that and I have all the effects for all my mics or all my interviews going through one channel. I didn't want to do it individually. I mean, it's a radio show, right? This isn't some Grammy award winning mix, so it is what it is. And then all my mic effects, and these are the effects that I use. And you know, these are, these aren't fail safe settings. These are the settings that I like on myself, which sound good to me. Um, but here they are, you you know, f um, f feel free to kind of you know emulate them or write them down or screen capture whatever it may be that's what i use on my mic um this glue compressor is absolutely amazing i actually play this um let me play a little bit of it you know controversy so, so apparently he was the orchestrator so that's with the effects let me just turn all the effects off like i've got this in an effects rack so it's really easy for me to turn everything off so i'm gonna turn everything off i think they got every right to protest um but so as you can see it's really let me try yeah so that's that's without the effects again with the effects no no but the end of the day so it's a huge difference as you can see i mean i love this glue compressor so should we be protesting turn this on me personally on here so this is with the glue compressor on um but that's me personally right i mean if it was now turn it fresh wounds or whatever yeah um and not only that, but I'm looking at the screenshots. I mean, and the stuff. I record like, that I, really, really low. You can see the makeup wrong. game. If anyone's really, there, please really comment high. below or whatever. But, I don't, uh, I don't... Again, you get the idea. I mean, there's all the settings down there, and you know, use it to your taste. I could put a limiter on there just so anything gets past the compressor doesn't peek through. And then the other important thing is on my master, which I don't really like putting stuff on my master. But again, this is just a, you know, a podcast, no big deal. I I have basically a. Um, Another limiter on there, just uh, touching it up a little bit. And then I have here is a linear Q, a linear phase EQ, which I kind of take a little bit out in the, um, you know, 800 to 900. I'm boosting another 3K. That that 3K is a magic radio frequency right there. I'm boosting another at, um, uh, what is that? At uh, just about 9K. I can, you know, we can do a before and after here. Let's play this. Like I, I correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone's there, so, please comment below or whatever. I don't, I don't see any Muslims is, protesting well, with at the Gurdwara. Um, mainly Sade Sikh Bandeya, but um, I could be wrong. I mean, I, I checked the video. I was just so, a quick I mean, sort of it is scan. It, it's subtle. Uh, it's more of a feel thing, and for me, a little bit of a hear thing. But again, this is me being an audio engineer. You don't necessarily have to do this stuff. Again, I just want to show you my session, what I do. Um, none of this is, you know. Uh, have to be done this is just my session as promised then right at the end of my chain I do have another uh, basically <clears throat> another limiter so I like to do stuff my gain staging in stages so I'll do a little bit little bit little bit and then a little bit always equals to a lot and again I'll go through all this stuff when I do mix sessions and stuff this is just a brief quick tutorial just on my session and again these are the tracks so in my transitions I do have like um, 
um, like little I what we call IDs in the radio world. So let's go to the beginning. I'll play my beginning ID, and this is something I created on my own. So that's kind of my beginning ID, right? That you know, I will show you in due time how to create your own ID, and then before I come into a break, like after the song is completed, like I here's how I set mine up. I kind of do. Four tracks, then I talk. Four tracks, then I talk. But this one's a little bit different because I did the top ten. So I did four tracks and three and three. So four, and then you got, you know what I mean? Uh, seven, and then you got uh, uh, another three, ten. So I finished that all on. I like to finish my top ten on the, the number one song, and then I come back and talk. So again, here's what I mean by the ID before. So right when this song ends, you hear this. You are locked into right? this piece. And that's something that I created um, using Ableton, just some samples and this and that. And I talk, you know, I'll not show you how I do all that stuff. But I just want to give you a quick sort of video on how I do stuff. Um, and then there's always the, the end one here. So that's basically. You are now in the mix. Tell. So all I did was take the intro music and put it at the end. So I start and end the show in the same sort of you know, idea and feel. That's basically it. I showed you the voiceovers, the effects I use on them. Um, these beats down here, I can't really play on YouTube because some of them are, you know, hip hop beats, but I just basically cut up loops and I use that as my background music. Um, so that's basically it. Um, if you got any questions or anything like that, let me know. Um, I'm, you know, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Once this is done and I'm happy with it, I like everything, the look and feel. I basically go to file, export, and then I'll export as a 24-bit 44-1 wave. Once I get that wave, I will um, open it up in um, iTunes. Just give it one second here while it opens up. And then what I do is I'll import that wave into iTunes like you see down here some of my other shows and and um, here it is right here so all I do is right click on that and I'll create an mp3 and then I'll take that mp3 and then I'll upload it to SoundCloud I don't do the wave just because it's you know so big mp3 is a lot smaller and my mp3 settings let me see if I can show you that I'm a quality guy so I like to um, where is it um, import settings here we go so I do custom and my custom is basically um, 320 so that's what I encoded at I encoded at 320 there we go 320k BPS so you get a higher resolution file up on SoundCloud that's why you know I've had a lot of a lot of people ask me saying you, you know your podcast sound really good it's because I take the time and effort in the beginning here, like if you have really crap songs, it's going to come out to be a crappy, you know, podcast. So all my music is, uh, I've bought all my music. Um, a lot of it gets sent to me just because I've been in the game a long time. I've got a lot of relationships with PR people, so I get music sent to me all the time. That's hip hop, R&B, dance, Punjab, you name it. Um, that's a relationship that you build over time. You just got to contact people. And that's something, you know, I'll go over all this stuff in detail, step by step. I just want to give an overall view of how I do stuff in Ableton. Again, it's a great program. Highly recommend it. You can do everything in this program. Talk, voiceovers, IDs, mixtapes, radio shows, you name it. And I'll go into um, how I do that uh, real soon. But I just want to put this quick video up just to show you how I make my podcast. Thanks, guys. Please do me a huge favor. Hit subscribe. That way you stay up to uh, date with the latest and greatest information from my channel. Uh, please like the video. Share it. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, please email me. I am DJReminis at gmail.com. Website is www.djreminis.com. And I'll see you guys real soon. Cheers.